Hey everyone, uh, happy Wednesday. <clears throat> Thank you so much for joining us. It's Connor, um, stepping in for Sarah once again. And uh, we may have someone new that will be doing our Wednesday Devos. More to come on that. Uh, but stay tuned. I know that Sarah is beloved here at ECU and she does a great job with our Devos. She's doing so much for our church leadership wise. And so she's asked just to step away in this time. She can focus on that and to give someone else an opportunity. So I'm filling in once again. I know you all love Sarah and I'm not Sarah. I'm just going to be Connor for you on this Wednesday morning or afternoon whenever you're watching this Devo. So today we're going to continue on in John chapter 9. And the, the thing that we want to talk about is a posture to have towards miracles. And so maybe it's a question to ask. What's your posture towards miracles? What's your posture towards how, God's, how God works, how he moves, how he interacts in your life? One thing we learn from Jesus and how he heals a blind man is, uh, from the blind man specifically, is maybe the mindset or framework or posture to have. So I'm going to read this verse and maybe you'll get a glimpse of what I'm talking about. So this is John chapter 9, starting in verse 24 and 25. It says this, So for the second time they called the man who had been blind and said to him, Give glory to God. We know that this man is a sinner. And then the blind man, who's now healed, says this, he answered, whether he is a sinner, I do not know. One thing I do know, that though I was blind, now I see. So the story up to this point is that Jesus heals this blind man. And then he gets questions by the Pharisees. And the focus goes away from the miracle. And it now goes on to the, the fact that this, my, that this man was blind. And now he's healed of his blindness. And the Pharisees are questioning uh, Jesus and they're questioning this guy and trying to see if, if this is all fake but the posture and the response from this guy is genuine and pure and just speaks to the way that we ought to approach the way God can work in our lives and how we can perform miracles he simply says this look <laughs> I think this guy's a prophet all I know is that I could not see and now I can it is what it is. And so for us, may we be in our lives, uh, may we be in such a way, in a mindset, and a framework to have a heart where we say, I, I know God, I love God, I trust God. I don't know how he always works, how he, why he does what he does, but all I know is my life is different when I follow him. Things look different in the people's lives uh, who follow Jesus that I know and love and trust. And so as you continue on in your week, as you maybe are starting your Wednesday morning, would you be encouraged and reminded that having a posture like this blind man who is now healed, he can now see, having his posture opens up, uh, opens up an opportunity for you to see God working and maybe in ways you hadn't seen before. So love you all. Thanks for joining us this Wednesday and we'll see you next time.